Hey everyone, so we are at the mall right now. I'm gonna do an inside the dressing room at Forever 21. I have not shopped at Forever 21 in literally a year. Um, their stuff just hasn't been tickling me. Also, they're getting like weirdly expensive. I don't know, I've noticed that lately. Um, so I'm gonna go, nothing online has been like um, interesting me. So I'm gonna go in the store, see what they have, try it on, and you know, we'll see. And I'm talking with my hands a lot, but let's go see what they have at Forever 21. Okay, so I grabbed a few items. Again, nothing was jumping out at me, but I did learn my lesson from my last Torrid haul. I did size up to a 2X. I usually wear a 1X, but this store does run on junior sizing, so I went for a 2X. Okay, so the first item is a plaid wrap skirt. I've been really into like the menswear, workwear inspired kind of items lately. So it's kind of a mini skirt, so not actually good for actually working, but I thought it was really cute. It has ties on the side. Um, it is a wrap, so um, I was like, oh, do I have to be careful with that? But it is lined. That black on the inside, that's the skirt, it's not my tank top. So I was really appreciative that they had that extra layer in there. I think this hangs really well off the body. It's a good A-line kind of skirt. Um, it's not bodycon. It does lay kind of more flat. And I feel like it didn't cling to my fat too much. I felt really comfortable and I thought it was a really flattering fit on me. So it will stay together um, even without the ties. And again, it is lined. So just in case the wind hits you one day, you're still secure. Again, with the workwear inspired items and again with the plaid, I've had my eye on this for a while. Um, so it, I kind of look like a dope, but in my mind, I was kind of going for 80s corporate Barbie in this one. I really like the oversized plaid blazer. I assumed functioning pockets, but they're kind of sewn shut, but there is a pocket in there, so I don't know, maybe you can rip that open, you'll have pockets. Um, really big lapels. I kind of dug this, even though looking back, I kind of look dumb, but I kind of like it. I look like I'm in Clueless or something. Unbuttoned, it looks way better, way more casual. And as a plus size person, it's hard to get a good oversized look without looking like a slob, but I think this does the job really well. This again is in a 2X. I did feel like it looked a little big in my arms. You could see there's just folds of extra fabric, but lengthwise and fit wise in the other areas, I do like that oversized look. So styled correctly, I think this could look really chic. You know how on vacation you see people in linen tropical pants and they look really chic and really comfy? Um, that's the look I was going for and I just kind of looked like I was in pajama pants. So I feel like this is one of those items that on other people always looks really cute and I always want to try it. And every time I do, I look like a slob. I did find with most linen pants, it accentuates my lower stomach fat. So. You know, I kind of knew that going in, like this was not gonna be a good look. But as a pajama pant, um, yeah, this totally works. Um, little long on me, I guess with, you know, nice summer sandals, it would uh, even out, but these just look like pajama pants on me and not resort chic as I was looking for. They do have that little piped lining on the side, give it a little, you know, athleisure kind of wear um, look. Um, for what it's worth, these were really comfy, um, great stretch in the waistband, but I was going for resort chic and this just looks, um, terrible. Guys, I am so into marigold right now. It's one of my favorite colors to wear. So when I saw this on the rack, I was like, yes, and I love dresses. So for the most part, this is really cute. Um, a plus boobs, like let's get real, that looks amazing. Um, so this is just another kind of fold over kind of dress. I think it looks really cute. The one thing though, that fold over part, unlike the shorts, uh, yeah, so you're not safe at all. Um, a gust of wind hits you, you are flashing everyone. Um, BT dubs, I do have nude underwear on, so what you think you saw, I don't know. Um, 
I did find it a little thin and clingy, so you can see the outline of my giant belly button. Um, so it's just clinging to me in places I didn't really care for it to cling to. Um, but that's not a huge deal. On top, I think that looks amazing. Like I said, this is gonna give you great cleavage. So for the most part, it's okay. For a $17 dress, like you know what you're getting. And I think it's a really cute cut. Okay, finally, I saw this on the rack and I was so intrigued. Um, so this is a 2X, this is about $40. And um, let me tell you, for $40, this can work at prom. This is so, so cute. I loved the detailing on this. Um, so if you're going to like a formal event and you don't wanna spend that much money but you wanna look really cute, this is an excellent idea. Um, so there's a nude layer that goes down pretty far. It was down to my ankle, so you don't have to worry about that riding up, and then it's just gonna be your butt and some mesh. No, you don't have to worry about that here. Um, then it has an over layer of beautiful lace embroidery, so I was really, really impressed by this. Um, again, with me, you can see the outline of my stomach, you know, maybe with some better underwear, that problem wouldn't be there. Um, but I did think this gave you great cleavage. Um, great movement mobility i wasn't trapped in there um so there is you know room to breathe but it's still a nice formal dress so this would work really well at like a formal event or you know again resort chic wear this to like a nice beachy dinner this is gonna look amazing i also want to point out that this had a zipper on the back and i zipped it myself and it was easy so i always look for you know things like that because it is kind of hard to get into some items so i was Super, super impressed by this dress, and I think it's a great price point for what you're getting. Okay, so these are my finds at Forever 21 Plus this time around. Let me know which items you liked and what items you're kind of looking forward to wearing this spring and summer, and I'll keep an eye out for those next time I go shopping.